Thank you. My life is comedy, or is it? Uh, White Queen. We never let anybody take your seat, did we? Never. No, we didn't. Never, never, never. We never would let anybody else sit there. No, just so happy she's here. It's great. This <laughs> is the family is back. The family is back. Oh my God. Well, did, since some of you have been gone, did any of you find find fame and fortune? Because we stayed around and didn't. And look, <laughs> and now it's time. It's time to play. We're on. Guess my Tuesday. <laughs> All right, so we got Valentine's Day coming up, everybody, right? And I think uh, Geo, are, are you filming this? Are we in, are, are we recording this? Yeah. yeah. We're gonna play it over the president's State of the Union. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. So, how about this worst Valentine gifts you could ever get? Right. Here's one. <laughs> Some guy gave his girlfriend a Brita water filter. <laughs> the, the there you go. He actually, he actually <laughs> gave her diamonds. <laughs> oh, there. Oh my. Here, you, here you go. How about this worst <laughs> worst Valentine's Day? A gas station rose and a trip to Kenny Rogers Roasters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my God. You know, it was one well, of those gas station roses that comes in a plastic case with a price tag on it, $2.50. <laughs> Honey, I'm so happy you did that. <laughs> yeah, nothing says love like chicken on a tray. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, here's here's another worst Valentine's gift ever, from my from my ex. It's always an ex after these, right? Yeah. Card that says your president is in my pants. <laughs> yeah. oh. Here's one. Yeah, a I'll huge take tough the dog. <laughs> what? I mean, who would that? do that? Yeah. Someone gave yeah. a book called Love Isn't Easy. Uh, uh, how about this? A basket of porn. These are terrible, <laughs> I guess, right? Oh, Good yeah. fries. <laughs> Here's another. Worst Valentine's Day gift. Guys, listen, these are ones you don't want to do. A crossword puzzle book and a Mardi Gras beads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just not, that's not good. <laughs> how about a dozen dead roses? <laughs> 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 A Merry oh, Christmas oh. card crossed off and said Happy Valentine's on it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 a free Snuggie <laughs> and a giant musical Who Let the Dog Out card. <laughs> <laughs> on the second, on the day of the sacred holiday, my ex got me a giant Hershey's Kiss, a stuffed animal in a pail. And white roses that were half brown. <laughs> Pretty much whatever he could grab at the front of Walmart. <laughs> 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 oh, that's bad. <laughs> bad things. Here's a worse gift, okay? <laughs> he gave for me an ab roller, and I didn't need it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ouch. <laughs> X. <laughs> A bag full of craft cheeses. <laughs> That's another really <laughs> joke. A box of frenzy of wine. <laughs> A box of wine. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Tuesday. Ho, ho. Another one. <laughs> A half empty sample bottle of perfume. <laughs> <laughs> He sent me a text requesting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah, don't uh, you love those? Yeah. That's it. Those are the those are a few of the Valentine's dates. Here's here's from Amazon. No shit. You can go to Amazon. Ted. Bad gift ideas for Valentine's Day at Amazon. Oh no! Right, here they are. They're right oh, there, no. and you can order them. The 2007 to 2012 Outlook for Bathroom Toilet Brushes and Holders in Greater China. Oh, book. my it's God. $495, and it's in stock. I'll bet it is. 
Here's another what they consider a terrible gift idea. The Tanita Duo Scale Plus Body Fat Monitor with Athletic Mode oh, and Body Jesus. Water. <laughs> Matt Midwest ga- two-point gauge barbed wire. A roll of that. And here, the book, he's just not that into you. <laughs> mm. Mm. These are what they think the best are. A Phillips Norelco body groomer. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay. That's just oh, wrong. God. <laughs> yeah. The complete idiot's guide to etiquette, the third edition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A kazoo. <laughs> kazoo. <laughs> That's one for Tamara Sands. <laughs> a package of commando cleavage cupcakes. <laughs> Guys, if you don't know what that is, you'll have to talk to the girls. They'll tell you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Cellular Secret, Why You Have It and How to Lose It book. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love you, honey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. One or two more from this. <clears throat> oh, somebody's feeding pretty well. Totally fun things to do with your cat. Anger man. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Uh-huh. Anger management for dummies. <laughs> 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 How dare you say I'm a dummy? <laughs> ah, destroy the book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I think that that would be just great. Oh God, bad Valentine's days. Yeah. So, everybody having fun? Oh, yeah. Yes. Tuesday. Oh, hell yeah. We got Liz Day Solo coming on at, uh, at uh, well, at the time of the State of the Union. At 6 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and Charlize sent me this. this. This is, let me see if I can find what she sent me. All right. Here's, here's from Charlize. The Catholic piece that was bu- priest that was busted for alleged, allegedly dealing crystal meth was suspended after church officials discovered he was a cross-dresser who was having sex in the rectory of Bridgeport's St. Augustine Cathedral. Monsignor Kevin Wallen was relieved of his duties in May, but the Roman Catholic Diocese of Bridgeport had continued to pay him a stipend until January 3rd when he was arrested. At that time, he was planning to fly to London for a long vacation. (laughs) God God love it. (laughs) Yeah. Anybody want to go in for Pope? I mean, seriously, we can all give it a shot. Yeah, time, right? uh, let's see if we can run for that. I mean, I think this is it. We can all go for Pope. Oh, hello, Nesto. How are you? Hope you can hear. Hello, Maria. Hope you can hear. Yeah. Anybody who can't hear, please uh, just stand up and wave your hands. And yeah. we'll, we'll if you can't hear us, tell, just stand up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Remember the times when you used to like come in and they'd lo- log you into a sim that wasn't where you? They tell you the place you wanted to go wasn't available, or whatever. Yeah. 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 Yep. Somewhere else. And then well, I you discovered. You... Uh... <laughs> that does happen. Does anyone? Oh, remember you still nearby region that that's clear across on the other side of the grid. <laughs> yeah. I get logged into the adult hub a lot of times. Yes, I always People do. hanging out naked and stuff. Oh, really? Is that where you go? Well, you weren't wearing any panties a little while ago. That's why they rescued <laughs> you. <laughs> Looks like a charm. Yeah. That's disgusting, Dr. Fran. Do you have the landmark set, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Next Wednesday, I'm doing a show for a huge BDSM sim, so if you guys are around, right. certainly welcome to come. Oh, yeah, and I didn't spell that C. I didn't. Yes. I didn't spell that C O M E either. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you might wonder what's behind me here. A lot of you are probably thinking, "What is this spank?" How many of you are aware of this spank? The Fifty yes. Shades parody. Are you aware of it? <laughs> no. It's a musical. Yep. It's come out and uh, it's been playing throughout the country, coming into a town near you. Uh, actually, it's coming to Atlanta in May, and. Uh, yeah, my girlfriend is going to be in Buenos Aires, so I booked a ticket on the aisle. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to wear a white linen shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you bad. You bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, 
don't you love that they said, oh, well, Fifty Shades of Grey was mommy porn? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> porn for mommy. Yeah, porn for mommy. What is wrong with that? Why not? Why not? Exactly. Why not? What's wrong mm-hmm. with that? Seriously. It's time to give up on that stuff. So uh, anyhow, so that, that that's coming out, so you don't want to miss that. Um, yeah, how many of you have tried Luminosity? Anybody try Luminosity yet? Do you, anybody know what it is? Yes, yes, yes. Is that uh, for regularity or what is it? No, yep. Luminosity is actually... Uh, yeah, absolutely. Because I'll try anything. Luminosity All right. for when you can't poo. All right. That's, all right. Or can you tell everybody what Luminosity is, okay? Mind games. It's mind games. Yeah, yeah. See, what happens is you go to play Luminosity, and there are five gays fucking around with your mind. Guys fucking around with your mind <laughs> behind the <Yeah>. scenes. <laughs> oh, look. She's asked, She's clicked on that. Let's throw this one at her. <laughs> you can't get <laughs> mind games. All right. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't very funny, I know. Yes, exactly. That's what you're supposed to do. <clears throat> yeah. So anybody encounter any lag lately? I haven't had lag in Second Life in so long. I think it's like oh, it's horrible. Right? It's, it's horrible right now. Really? It's horrible tonight here. It's always bad here. <clears throat> yeah. I'm at. I'm hovering around twenty. I got. <laughs> I got fourteen. I'm around twenty. Twenty-five. I've got three. Yeah. My frame rate was so slow. Second Life sent me a bunch of cards that I could just skim through and make believe. It. <laughs> <laughs> you, got the, you got the cliff notes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tindalia claims to have three. Uh, I got three. It's so it's slow, I have to. Yeah. My older computer. The older <laughs> computer. Is, is that the one that came with a little Crayola so you could color in us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it didn't look great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. How. All right, let me ask this. What's what's the oldest computer that anybody's using right now? Anything over five years old, just type it in that it's over five. No. No, yes. I'm just saying, we, we got, we'll type it in. Let's see. We got, nope, under. Nope. There's all under so far. Anybody got a five-year-old computer? Under. Okay, they're under. Not me. Look at this. They had keyboards back then. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, it's a real bitch playing Second Life by having to move your fingers across the damn screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does, uh, do, is Blue Mars still around? Is there a Blue Mars? Are they no, still active in that? Went it went under? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was going to replace everything, remember? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So anyhow... How many of you have used the sex gen bed in the last month? No. Nobody. Nope. Do you remember the first time you used one? You thought this is great. Yeah. Yes. Or the carpets or the rugs, right? <laughs> what was that sigh of Maria? <laughs> was that a sigh of the oh, old days? Or was dear, that just oh a sigh dear, because oh we were being ridiculous? Hello, Julie. I said better off. No, I'm joking. <laughs> what? Less said about the sex, better off, right? Can... All right, that's enough of that. All right, so. No, no, never kiss and tell. <clears throat> yeah. Well, the last person here that I know that got pregnant was Tindali. I don't know if anybody else been pregnant. Anybody been pregnant in 2012? Anyone? Yeah. Because I want you to know, those kids aren't going to grow up too much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Not at 14 right. frames a second, that's for sure. Yeah. I had a friend of mine ask me, how do you get the part? <laughs> yeah, right. They're mesh anyhow, so Haley can't yeah. even see them. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, all the kids from last year look like stones. <laughs> <laughs> Why, don't you think my baby's cute? Yeah, for a rock. <laughs> yeah, for a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what is it, Charlie Brown? I got a rock. <laughs> yeah, you know, in the old days, you could, thank God we don't have a first life because I remember in the old times with Excite Parts, you'd get like a little thing, a little notice would pop up saying, 
uh, your vagina needs to be updated. I mean, that's yeah. really terrible yeah. in first life, right? <laughs> so one of my girlfriends was joking around with me once. It was a long time ago. She just wanted to be joking around. She said, you know how you can get particles out of your hair after sex? I looked at her and I said, I don't know, but you got to get the prim out of your teeth first. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you ever let somebody use your second life avatar when, I mean, in first life when you weren't around, you just let them use your avatar? Not on a bet. That's no term of service um, violation. No. Well, yeah, right. <laughs> term of service. You can't be <laughs> TOS. And we all follow the rules here. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. It's cool to yeah. follow the rules. Don't you know that, Lauren? <laughs> yeah. We're all cool. How many of you read those 673 pages of updates on the TOS, right? I'm exactly. waiting for the movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got to wonder who wrote those terms of service anyhow, right? Yeah. You read them, and then you crashed, right? So yeah. the time, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that again at one point, yeah. <laughs> yeah you know how to, there's a mirror here in Second Life. What? The BDS? Yeah, I'll do it there. Yeah, maybe then. There's a mirror here in Second Life that will remind you that you're a slave. How many people know there's a mirror which just keeps telling you you're a slave, blah, blah, blah. I know those of you may know that, the gory and stuff, right? But I don't need that because in First Life, there's a laundry basket that reminds me of that every week. <laughs> <laughs> one of the oldest jokes in Second Life, one of the oldest jokes goes all the way back to the beginning. How many lindens does it take to change a light bulb? Do you remember that one? And the answer was, everyone, please be patient. We're doing the best we can. It's not fun for us either. Check the blog for updates. And yeah. in the meantime, here's our trolley with 10 super fun things to do in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> That's the oldest joke in Second Life. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> you found the TOS when you signed up with Virgin Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> more entertaining, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, we should take like the TOS from Second Life and send it into one of the other companies. Go, you want me to sign this? <laughs> <You know? laughs> right. So, anyhow, yeah. I remember when I went to Gore, I used to go out to Gore to check things out, wander around. And uh, there was this guy there. Nobody would talk to you. You know, You know that's the thing about those kind of sims. You know, if you go there and you don't put on, well, it doesn't matter. You could put victim on, nothing happens. You know, you could put on. Victim. Somebody says, do you do voice? So I turn around and go, yeah. You still want to have sex with me? And I go, ah. <laughs> you have been ejected from. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, but anyhow, there was this this guy, and and so he wasn't talking. So I, I read his profile, and it said he was a mute dom. A mute dom. So I, so I typed him. I said, "So I guess you're a husband, right?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's bring Catboy up. Catboy, you All ready right. to get up here Catboy. and rock it? Yes, come on, Catboy, yeah, get yeah, up yeah, on the stage. Yeah. 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 There we go. There we go. Crash or bump into anybody, hopefully. God, hey, everybody. You, you look like something that have a lawsuit after it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, I got some good news for everybody. Uh, great big announcement. Uh, good news is I will be performing in real life at a comedy club. I'm booked at the end of the month, February 28th, 8 p.m., at the Just for Laughs Comedy Festival. In, uh, sorry, not just for laughs, but the Time to Laugh Comedy Festival. It's a bit of a ripoff of the Montreal Festival in Kingston. I'll admit that. Uh, it's at the end of the month. Yeah, so, bravo. Good job. Yeah. So, yeah. wish me luck. It's, um, I'm not going because of the competition. I'm just going because I want to try this out. So, hopefully. No, you'll be great. 
I don't know. You hope so? Yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm not really getting a lot of support at home. I told my parents that I wanted to do this, and my mom just ripped right into me. She said, you can't be a comedian. There's no way. And, of course, it has nothing to do with how funny I am. I mean, this is how parents think, right? She said, well, why can't, I, why can't I be a comedian? She goes, you won't comb your hair. You look like a slob. And I know that you don't have 1200 bucks to spend on a suit. I go, 1200 bucks. Who the hell was the last person you saw perform live? Johnny Carson? <laughs> she goes, well, so I'll have you know, mister, it was Jack Benny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jack Benny. I don't he's think still he 39, right? 39. <laughs> I don't think he ever spent 1200 bucks on a suit. I don't think he spent $1,200 on a car. I don't think he spent $1,200. Yeah, I don't think he spent $1,200, period. All right, uh, some news today. Um, actually, this stuff just happened. I was reading this while, while uh, we were having our little little pre-thing here. Um, the heart attack grill spokesperson died of a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, I did hear that. <laughs> you know what this? Okay, you know uh, Paul White, the guy that plays the big show in WWF, probably the largest human being you've ever seen in your life, right? The heaviest yeah. he's ever been is 525 pounds. These days, he's in the he's sort of uh, just below 500. This guy who just passed away weighed 575 pounds. And he was not seven foot five wide. He was probably around six feet tall, but still. Too bad he wasn't chocolate. Gotta... Then he would have been worth all that weight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, One thing about the I'm heart sorry. attack grill, though, you gotta admit oh! the truth. <laughs> oh. One thing about the heart attack grill, you gotta admire truth in advertising. Oh my, okay. Also, uh, today, some, some bad news. Did anyone hear that uh, the IOC, the, the International Olympic Committee, is dropping amateur wrestling from the 2020 Olympics? No, I didn't. It's gone now. It's been dropped. And I guess nobody cares. Okay. <laughs> um, there was a bit of a pissing competition that happened over in TMZ when one of their commentators announced Olympic wrestling was dropped quicker than Owen Hart. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyone wow. knows the story behind that one? That's a bit of a yeah. oh, wow. Ooh, well, that is well. not in great taste. Yeah. <laughs> well, TMZ deserves their pissing competition. Okay. Um. The, uh, oh, we heard earlier today it's Happy Pancake Day. Happy Pancake Gate Day, everybody. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Bravo. Oh. Pancake Yay. Day. And yet somehow the day feels so pulpless. Ooh. 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 I feel like we've lost all hope. Oh, no. Hope does not so spring hopeless. eternal. It didn't even last the winter. Oh. I, you know, I don't blame the Pope. I really don't. I would quit my job, too, if my boss never showed up for work. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, that's, actually, a good, that's, a that's, a <laughs> that's a good joke. Tell that again. That's a good joke. Tell it again. He just calls it in. <laughs> By the way, he's here, never um, here. <laughs> It'd be a miracle if he showed up. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> well, actually, uh, Lauren mentioned recently that the Vatican is in money troubles, and this is a rumor that uh, the reason why Ratzenberg, if you know, remember, that's his name before he became, um, you know, he was christened with the Pope name, but Ratzenberg may be leaving the Vatican because it's going into insolvency. Well, you know what they say about rats leaving a sinking ship? Mm-hmm. Ooh. 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 Oo
Anyone see this? Can you see this? This is a photo of a toy. I see a nice gray box. This is the Playmobil Action um, Bank playset. Playmobil Action playset for kids. Remember Playmobil? They came out mm -hmm. just a little bit after Lego did in North America. They're kind of like a more expensive, more detailed version of Lego. Can you see it yet? You no. should yep. see a picture no. of a... Yep, there we no? go. All right, I'm going to hit. Oh, okay. See it now? It's still blurry. I see it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now, what you... Okay, now what you should be looking at is this is a picture of a bank, and it's being robbed right now by a nice little white lady carrying a gun and a, and a little red purse. You know, I guess inconspicuous <laughs> is out of season. There but this caused a lot of controversy. A lot of parents saying this is inappropriate for children. They don't want kids to, to be playing with something like this. They think it gives a negative message. I think it's great, but you know what? It should have come with cops, you know, so kids can play out the full circle of crime. You know, like robbers rob the bank. Cops arrest a robber, and banker gets off scot-free for deliberately selling mortgages that should have been poorly rated as AAA. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think that's the Federal Reserve Bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Man -y -may. laughs> uh, oh, did you hear a uh, big announcement last week? It was right after our comedy thing last week. The, uh, the Boy Scouts, like literally, this was breaking news. They stopped everything. You know, they, like, it was a stop the prices moment on CNN. There's breaking news from the Boy Scouts about their big decision about letting gays into the Boy Scouts. And the big announcement is they're not making a decision. Yeah. They're putting it on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how long have the Boy Scouts been in Congress? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I've got a question for everybody here, and this is something I'm, I've kind of noticed recently is – um, I was kind of, remember I was, uh, I did that thing with entomology. That's sort of something I've been into recently, just looking up the meanings of words. Did anyone wonder why the British have so many hilarious words that describe pants or underwear? Have you noticed no, this? Never thought here, about here, let it. me go through a list here. Ass bag. <laughs> That's pants. Ass bag. Knickers. <laughs> Britches. Bloomers. Pantaloons, and then after that comes unmentionables. Why, after coming up with so many clever words for underwear, did you come up with unmentionables? It sounds like you came up with a whole mess of ways to mention them. <laughs> did you realize it was getting out of hand and you had to rein it in a bit? And here's, oh, I love this word. This is my favorite word for, for, for underwear, British word. Underclappers. <laughs> Under what? Undercrackers. That makes it sound like there's all kinds of incredible things Under going on down there. Coffee put that Under. in there. Undercrackers. Undercrackers. I've never Under heard crackers. that before. Oh, my God. Sounds like, sounds like a magical Under device crackers. to pull back the mighty flatulence of the lightning god Zeus. I'm going to go buy some of those next time I'm in this store. You got any Undercrackers? <laughs> That's a great name for men's underwear, isn't it? No, sorry. Men's, oh, men's adult me diapers. Stop. Men's adult diapers. <laughs> I, I need, I need to wear them under my ass bag. <laughs> undercrackers under my ass bag. I'm here to tell you about undercrackers, the adult diapers for men. Undercrackers, when you're Fanny too old to hold it in, but you can Fanny still let it out with a great no, deal of Gabby, force. <laughs> oh, undercrackers God. gives me the secure feeling of knowing that I can go on a burrito run with my friends and avoid embarrassing moments such as having my pants spontaneously explode like someone stuck a dick of dynamite down a fertilizer silo. Undercrackers. Sometimes you feel like a saltine, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> <laughs> if you realize that that commercial was in Japan, it would be, Undercrapper! You incontinent, you pull pads, you need undercrapper! Speaking of Japan, did you hear recently in Japan, 13 opera singers were trapped in an elevator and had to miss their performance. How the hell did you put 13 opera singers into an elevator? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Only in Japan could you fit 13 <laughs> opera singers into an elevator. Was it a I'll tell you what, if you, if you manage to fit 13 Italian and German opera singers into an elevator, the performance better be in the basement. <laughs> I don't think the elevator's in a lift. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the other day I told you I got a service call from India? And recently I read that both China and India are poised to become the largest consumer cultures in the world. So it's only there a matter of time for the last 5,000 years. <laughs> yeah. So I, I imagine because of that, it's, it, it's, uh, 
it's only going to be a matter of time before we are doing service calls for them. So if you want to get a job at a service center, you're going to have to take a class on how to speak with an East Indian accent, probably taught by ex-cab drivers and convenience store clerks. <laughs> no, it could be great. They call up, they call up, go, hi, hi there, Mike, I'm having problems with my computer. Are you sitting in front of your computer? Turn it off. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I well, didn't you let Dr. Run do that. He was better. <laughs> You're going to have to yeah. pick a phony East Indian name. For God's right, sake, exactly. don't pick... Don't pick Nahasapina Pedal on. Everybody knows that's the Simpsons. <laughs> that one's out. I see through your lies. I know Nahasapina Pedal on. You, sir, are no Nahasapina Pedal on. Would you please let me talk to someone who I can understand? <laughs> we're gonna have that to be, sounds we're like the guy be... I spoke to last night. Is this India? <laughs> Am I talking to somebody in India? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Elvis. That's terrible. You know what? We're going to be greeted. If we do this, we're going to be greeted with the exact same skepticism they get when they call us. And we're going to deserve it, too, because look how pissed off people got when that white guy spoke with a Jamaican accent during the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I think that's a bit of a double standard because, you know what? If Volkswagen made a commercial that had half a dozen Jamaican dudes speaking with a Canadian accent, I swear to God, I would die of laughter. <laughs> 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 Try to imagine some six-foot-tall Rastafarian with dreadlocks halfway to his knees going, Oh, heck, yeah, eh? Pass that duchy to the left-hand side, don't you know? <laughs> that would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Oh, what about Snowmageddon? Did you, uh, who survived the big snowstorm last weekend? Snowmageddon. What a bunch of babies. And, and it's the are. Sports Illustrated girl is in snow. I don't know if you know that. It came snow, out today. Yeah, well, yeah, the yeah instead of a beach, it's a the, snow beach. Yeah. I can't believe the, the big the Arctic, you people. Right? Yeah, yeah and freeze in a freaking place. They had to warm her up. I can't One believe guy got the, the job as breast warmer. You know what? <laughs> I can't believe what a bunch of babies you people are about a little snow. Remember that movie, The Day After Tomorrow? It was a movie about a bunch of college kids that were trapped. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, it was a movie, about a, a movie yeah. about a bunch of college kids trapped in a New York public library <laughs> because there was a giant snowstorm. You know what that movie was called in Canada? Spring Break. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was trying to think of a joke uh, for, like, yeah, we for know. the snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about 15 minutes now. <laughs> Like, what, what jokes can I tell about snow? And I found this really old one. It's, it, it's uh, how do you build... Sorry. Why does it take so long to build a blonde snowman? Well, because you have to hollow out the head. Uh, I thought it would have taken so long because it takes... You know what? My answer would have been, it takes so long because you need time to you fetch a ladder a and drink four Syria. cups of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I said it would have taken so long because you need time to fetch a ladder and drink four cups of tea. Eight cups of tea if you're making an Asian snowman. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, oh, that's uh, since, yeah. With that Frickets. low note, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna call it a night. <laughs> okay, there we go. Well, there we go, everybody. Yeah, bravo, bravo. Kind of the by the way, Catboy might have a job for you here. I noticed the Syrian rebels say they've seized the military airfield and its warplanes. They just don't have anybody who can fly them. <laughs> <laughs> you can go, here are some more of the bad Valentine's Day gifts for your woman. Do not buy her a vacuum, okay? <laughs> might have been good in 1950, <laughs> no, but not now, okay? <laughs> no, terrible. Yeah. Do not buy her a gym membership, all right? This is not the mm. day to give it to her, all right? <laughs> no. Not really. <laughs> yeah. Do a not think it's cute. One. Yeah, don't think it's cute making homemade coupons like, I'll give you a massage. I don't want, this is not the time for that shit. At nine, it's Everyone cute, has a printer. Now. Right. Don't that give her something you really her. want. You know, if you're into hunting and she's not buying her a new gun or a knife, knowing she won't like it so you can have it is really just plain <laughs> terrible idea. Okay? <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, God. Yeah. This is a book you do not want to buy her this year, okay? A thousand ways to be a slightly better woman. All right? <laughs> this, this book does exist. Don't buy it for her, all right? <laughs> These are things not to buy. Here, you'll like this, okay? Uh, because uh, here we have Valentine's Day. What constitutes cheating? All right. 
And I'm going to read this. According to the State of Dating in America, a new report released jointly by the Christian online dating site ChristianMingle.com and the Jewish dating site JDate.com. Oh, no. This is the definition. I said, I got together, all right? Don't you love it? Christian Mingles and JDate. 2,700 singles were surveyed, both genders. 95% of the men and 100% of the women agreed that having sex with another person was an act of infidelity. you got to wonder about those other 5% of the men that don't think it is. (laughs) 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 I mean, okay. All the women polled, 100% thought sharing a passionate kiss could be counted as cheating, but only 86% of the men felt the same way. Of course... Out of that other 14%, 5% we already know think sex isn't cheating, so it's only yeah. 9% new people that we got in that part of the equation, all right? So, all right, but there's more. 80% of the women felt that texting or online flirting was unfaithful acts. Only 56% of the men agreed. <laughs> the other 44% took the Bill Clinton. <laughs> men and women differed also when it came to whether or not an emotional relationship constituted as cheating. of men and 77% of women deeming emotional connections as infidelity. Christian and Jewish singles agreed in many of their definitions of cheating. Almost all responded the same. 99% of the Christians, 98% of Jews agreed that a passionate kiss is an act of cheating. Roughly the same percentage of Christians and Jews, 68% and 67% respectively, believed having an emotional relationship counts as cheating. The main difference, okay, between the Jews and the Christians, and here it comes, all right, 44% 44% of Christians said that watching porn was an act of infidelity, while only 24% of the Jews agreed. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 43% no. of the Christians thought going to a strip club constituted cheating, when only 20% of the Jews thought so. <laughs> uh, that's better. But there you go. I see. There you go. There you go. I agree. <laughs> it's not yeah, cheating. Yeah, you agree. There you go. So that's it. Uh, it's not cheating. So, uh, <laughs> anyhow. Hope everybody's having a good Valentine's Day in 24 minutes. We have Liz Day solo coming up. Is Liz Day in the room? Did she, is she here? I didn't look to see if she's here. Uh, Jamie's in charge of all that. For those of you who are new here, and I see a lot of new people, which is fabulous. Still waiting on her, folks. Okay. She's tonight, so she may not Keep be here. Back. Yeah, please come back. If you didn't laugh this week, you'll laugh next week or the week after. <laughs> or the week after, yeah. <laughs> And if any of you want to do comedy, uh, we always have a lot of time that we're filling in with bad jokes, so you can certainly get up here and do a few of your jokes. Okay? Like, <laughs> like between five and six. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, anyhow, as we come into Valentine's Day, I want you to know there is recent research that shows there are seven kinds of sex. The first kind of sex is called Smurf sex. You know that. That's the kind that happens when you first meet someone and you both have sex until you're blue in the face. Mm. You'll remember that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the second kind of sex is called kitchen sex. This is when, when you've been with your partner for a short time and you're so needy you'll have sex anywhere, even in the kitchen. The third kind of sex is called bedroom sex. Now, this is when you've been with your partner for a long time. The sex has gotten routine and you usually have sex only in the bedroom. <sighs> The fourth kind of sex is called hallway sex. This is when you've been with your partner for too long. When you pass each other in the hallway, you both say, fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) The fifth kind of sex is called religious sex, which means you get none in the morning, none in the afternoon, and none at night. (laughs) Yeah, okay. The sixth kind of sex is called courtroom sex. This is when you cannot stand your wife and my husband anymore. She or he takes you to court and screws you in front of everyone. <laughs> 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 and last, but not least, the seventh kind of sex is called social security sex. You get a little each month, but not enough to enjoy yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when nobody said it was going to be good, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I should talk. By the way, does anybody know if you have sex with a prostitute against her will, is it still considered rape or shoplifting? <laughs> <laughs> good point. Oh, good oh, point. Oh, no. That's the services. Oh, <laughs> it's a violation of TOS, I think. Does anybody know why... <laughs> 
<laughs> boo boo. Depends you don't know why doctors leave the room while you change. They're going to see you naked anyway. You know? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go. So some other, some other uh, do not get gifts for Valentine's Day. Just I want you to know, uh, yeah. This is not a time to give anybody in your office a pink slip if you're a boss. This is not a good time for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know, I know. Valentine's card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not big thrill if you just poke her on Facebook. That's not it. <laughs> That's not it. Do not buy her anything from Cuisin Cuisinart, all right? <laughs> this is not the time to shop for things from Cuisinart. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and do not think that a Santa snow globe is appropriate, all right? Mm. It just ain't. Yeah, and no gift cards to McDonald's, please. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> just, just try to pass on these things. <laughs> yeah, so here are cute little things. He's like if you're five years old, you know, what did the paper clip say to the magnet? I find you very attractive. <laughs> All right, I guess that's time to call Doc Run up, don't you yeah. think? <laughs> yes. Yeah, when yeah, they get yeah. down to that, yeah, come on, Doc, yeah. come on. You've, had, an, yeah, you've yeah. had enough bad jokes, now yeah. you're going to get me. <laughs> In the business, we call Lauren a fluffer. She's got you all revved up for me, okay? <clears throat> all right, now. I'm a fluffing you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> I am speechless. I'm, yeah, I know. <laughs> and that's my show. Thank you and good night. <laughs> Is there a re rewind on the show? <laughs> yeah. All right. I am. I'm happy to report. I don't. Um, happy to report that I am reading. Part of my uh, routine tonight from my, I swear to God, it's not stolen iPad, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, that one. The continuing that saga. One. The continuing saga. Now, I was, going to, I was going to email it to my regular account at home so I could print it, but I'm afraid that if I send it out, the ghost of Steve Jobs is going to pick up my fucking IP address, and they're going to send the Apple police to come take it back off of me. So I'm not going to take any chances, okay? So I'm just going to read it right from you. But most of it was it's just stuff that's happened to me the last week. You know, we, <clears throat> we had a Super Bowl party here uh, last uh, Sunday, I think, and uh, everybody had Super Bowl parties they were going to, and I had one that I was going to also. But as luck would have it, I was, I was filming that day. It was uh, one of the last days for my – real life film group we were doing a film shoot and we didn't get finished until until six and of course super bowl starts at six thirty. so by the time i got there it was it was like seven thirty. now the game starts at six thirty, but but you know the party usually starts around three something like that and you know one of the things that i really hate even at my age one of the things i really hate is when you get to a party and everybody in the room is drunk except you okay yeah. and you can't understand any of them, okay? Exactly. But it's amazing. Have you ever noticed <laughs> the more you drink, the more coherent they become, okay? <laughs> because you're standing there, and, you know, they're first they're like, <laughs> and then about the fourth or fifth drink, it starts to become, <laughs> that's why I told them mutual funds are the way to go. Okay. <laughs> it's, 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 it's amazing how a little bit of alcohol enhances your comprehension, okay? Then what really screws it up is that somebody sober comes to the party and everybody wonders, what the hell is he saying, right? Did you no. say comprehension? No, comprehension. Yeah. You have enough alcohol, it's comprehension. You know what he's saying? Comprehension. Yeah. Comprehension. comprehension. Yeah. Have a couple more drinks. You'll understand me, Brian. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm speaking Canadian. Wait, I speak in English. Shut up. <laughs> one, okay. of the things, one of the things that I've noticed, I've been in, I've been in Second Life now almost, almost five years. One of the things I've noticed is that there really is no wrong or right. There's no black or white. There's just different interpretations of the truth, okay? I, I truly believe that because of all the global interaction, 
we become a more tolerant species. At least us, you know, yes. we're the enlightened yes. ones in here, okay? Indeed. Like, okay, for, for example, yes. for example, Indeed. I was role-playing in this sim a while back, and I, I met this girl, and we began to hit it off, okay? And, you know, I, I, I did what comes natural to me. I let her drink in my sexiness, okay? So we ended up getting it on, okay? <laughs> Right in, baby. You know, and you know, well, I, I, I won't, I won't bore you with the details. I'm just, you know, I was amazing, of course, but that goes without saying. Okay, so we're laying by this, lunch, we're laying by this picturesque waterfall afterwards, you know, and I'm basking in the glow, and I'm thinking, here's another dear woman I've brought pleasure true. When she says to me, I, I have a confession to make, and I'm thinking, okay, here we go. She's a slave, and her master's going to come kick my ass, or she's got virtual VD, and I got it now, or somewhere there's five kids lurking she's going to, she didn't tell me about, right, you know? So, you know, being the tolerant, worldly person that I am, I said, honey, there's nothing you can tell me right now that will upset me. And she looked up at me with sparkle in her eyes, and she said, well, <clears throat> I'm a man. <clears throat> without without missing a beat, I said, uh, as long as it feels good, it doesn't matter, honey. Not to me one bit. Of course, inside I'm going, <laughs> let's get serious, all right? <laughs> but that's, that's what Second Life has done for me, okay? It's made me a, a, a more worldly person. And as you ride around Second Life, you see a lot. Everybody's got bumper stickers that, that, that tell, you know, what they what they're what – they're, What's on their mind on the back of their car? Okay, now here's some Second Life bumper stickers for you, right? I break for Miru's, okay? <laughs> Proud parent of a furry. Proud parent of a furry, okay? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. My, my alt just beat up your alt, okay? <laughs> I like that one. I like my other that alt is better looking. Here's one. Now think, think about this. I'm my own grandpa. In here, that's possible, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Here's one on the back. Here's one that you see on the back of a motorcycle jacket. If you can read this, the, if you can read this, the bitch derezzed. Okay. <laughs> one. Here's here's a here's another one. My other ab is a noob. Okay. Oh, gosh. How about this one? Honk if you're Ruth. Okay. <laughs> here's yeah, one for might here's, that biblical, right? When you yeah. Say root, here's yeah. here's one for Haley. Mesh the other white meat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now here's one. I like this one. If I said you had a beautiful body, would you give me a full perm copy of it? That's a hell of a good bumper sticker. <laughs> <laughs> Got a couple more. Love means never having to say, I'm the same sex as you. Isn't Second Life <laughs> wonderful, okay? And one of my favorites, it's not working. I can cam through the bag over your head. <laughs> so so there, there are, there are uh, there, there's some Second Life bumper stickers. Now, it is, there is a holiday coming up. <clears throat> it, it's, it's uh, you know, the holiday of love. And... Um, Everybody thinks about, you know, sending, everybody thinks about cards and, you know, and nice things to say. Here's some, here's some thought starters for you in case you want to send something to your loved one and you don't know what to say, okay? <clears throat> I thought that I could love no other. Until, that is, I met your brother. I'm going to send that one out, okay? <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. Sugar is sweet, and so are you. But the roses are wilting, the violets are dead, the sugar bowl's empty, and so is your head. Uh -huh. <laughs> kind, intelligent, loving, and hot. This describes everything you are not. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I want to feel your sweet embrace, but don't take that paper bag off your face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love your smile, your face, and your eyes. Damn, I'm good at telling lies. <laughs> I see your face when I am dreaming. That's why I always wake up screaming. <laughs> My feelings for you, no words can tell. Except for maybe, go to hell. And, and what inspired this amorous rhyme? 
two parts vodka, one part lime. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, <clears throat> because I've been I've been married to the same wonderful woman for thirty seven years, thirty seven years, thirty seven wow. years. Yep, it feels like it. It feels like much more sometimes, 40. but yeah. <laughs> It's amazing how your priorities in life change, okay? And here, here are some, here's some quick signs because, you know, you people are probably putting in your head, okay, 37 years of marriage, that makes him uh, 42. Okay, right. But when you're, <laughs> when, when you're getting older, you know, you look at things a little bit differently, okay? Here are some signs that you're getting old, okay? Your house plants are all alive and you can't smoke any of them, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know you're getting old if you have more food than beer in the fridge. I don't even have a can of beer in my refrigerator. 6 a.m. is when you get up, not when you go to bed, okay? Here's what I'm guilty of, okay? And this is sad. You watch the Weather Channel, okay? <laughs> you go from 130 days of vacation to 14. <laughs> yeah. You're the one calling the police because those damn kids next door won't turn down the stereo. <laughs> you know you're getting old when you don't know what time Taco Bell closes anymore and you don't really give a shit, okay? <laughs> your car insurance goes down and your car payments go up, okay? You feed your dog science diet instead of McDonald's leftovers. I know my dog doesn't care for that either, okay? <laughs> Dinner and a movie is the whole date instead of the beginning of one, okay? <laughs> Eating a basket of chicken wings at 3 a.m. would severely upset, rather than settle, your stomach, okay? You go to the drugstore for ibuprofen and antacid, not condoms and pregnancy tests. Whew, okay. <laughs> you know you're getting older if a $4 bottle of wine is no longer pretty good shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't drink that way the way I used to replaces I'm never going to drink that much again okay and um, let's see here um, <laughs> you remember your last bowel movement vividly okay Ooh. you aren't embarrassed to ask for an AARP discount your favorite video game is still Pong Okay. Every electronic device, every electronic device in your house still blinks 12 two weeks after a power outage. Okay. <laughs> you won't speak to any customer service representative who doesn't speak fucking English. Okay. <laughs> you have to explain to your kids how the Doobie Brothers got their name. That's sad. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> how'd they get their name? Yeah. <laughs> when making love your knees give up before your heart on does that hurts okay your kids find your brick phone in a closet and you have to explain what it is you have pairs of pants older than your grandchildren and you're still wearing them at this moment Okay, you're back. Ass bags, ass bags. <laughs> ass bags. <laughs> with, some, with some animal crackers underneath, or whatever the hell those things were. Okay. Undercrackers, <laughs> yeah. Animal crackers. <laughs> Your back goes out more than you do, okay? <laughs> The end, the, the end of your tie doesn't come anywhere near the top of your pants. I can't speak for that one myself, okay? Um... Getting lucky on a date is finding a parking space up front. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is getting uh, lucky on a date. Now, I got a couple more things for you here. Um, uh, here's a joke for you. A woman uh, on the staff of the school where I work became engaged, and a friend and colleague offered her some advice. The first 10 years are the hardest, she said. Really? How long have you been married, she asked. 10 years. <laughs> 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 Okay. And I got one more for you here. One more for okay. you here. Okay. All right. Um, one morning, Emma woke up with a start. Her husband, Jim, asked her what was the matter, and she told him, I had just had a dream that you gave me a pearl necklace for Valentine's Day. What do you think it means? You'll know tonight, Jim said. That evening, Jim came home with a small package and gave it to his wife. Delighted, Emma opened it and found a book entitled The Meaning of Dreams. 
Uh, Happy uh, <laughs> I was going to use that joke. Thank you for taking it. The, no problem. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, <laughs> Have a good evening. Bravo, Thank you so bravo. much. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. And I, uh, that was you fabulous. You? Aren't we having fun? Yeah. I'm going to pull up my ass bag here now and sit down. <laughs> sit down? Undercrackers. <laughs> uh, Undercrackers. Under 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 <laughs> yes, Undercrackers. <laughs> <laughs> Double click TV is not fun. I'm gonna find a way to use that next week. <laughs> a man and his wife. These are these are our Valentine's things, and then in the end, I'm gonna give everybody their Valentine uh, horoscope. But first, we just do a few of these. A uh, man and wife were having an argument about who should brew the coffee each morning. The wife said, "You do it because you get up first, and then we don't have to wait so long to have our coffee." And the husband said, "But you're in charge of cooking around here, so you should do it because that's your job, and I can just wait for my coffee." Wife replied, no, you should do it. And besides, it says in the Bible, the man should do the coffee. Husband replied, I can't believe it. Show me. So she fetched the Bible, opened the New Testament, and showed him right at the top of several pages. It said, Hebrews. No, no. Hebrews. <laughs> 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 You know, Adam stayed out very late for a few nights. Eve became upset and said, you're running around with another woman. Eve, honey, you're being unreasonable, Adam responded. You know you're the only woman on earth. Quarrel continued till Adam fell asleep, only to be awakened by a strange pain in the chest. It was his darling Eve poking him vigorously about the torso. What do you think you're doing, Adam demanded, counting your ribs. <laughs> 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 yeah, Maria, I know that. No. Yes. <laughs> One Sunday, a pastor told the congregation that the church needed some extra money and asked the people to prayfully, <laughs> prayerfully consider giving a few little extra in the offering plate. He said whoever gave the most would be able to pick out three hymns. After the offering plate was passed, the pastor glanced down and noticed someone had placed a $1,000 bill in the offering. He was so excited, he immediately shared his joy with the congregation and said he'd like to personally thank the person who placed the money in the plate. Very quiet, elderly, and saintly lady all the way in the back. Shyly raised her hand. Pastor asked her to come over to the front. Slowly, she made her way up to the pastor, and he told her how wonderful it was that she gave so much in thanksgiving and asked her to pick out three hymns. Her eyes brightened as she looked over the congregation, pointed to the three handsomest men in the building, and said, I'll take him, him, and him. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a doc doctor in the house? Several men stood up and the lights came on. An older lady pulled her daughter to stand next to her. Good. Are any of you doctors single and interested in dating a nice Jewish girl? <laughs> no. All right. We got to get to the uh, <laughs> Struggling to make ends meet on a first call salary. The pastor was livid and he confronted his wife with a receipt for a $250 dress she had bought. How could you do this? I was outside the store looking at the dress in the window, and I found myself trying it on, she explained. It was like Satan was whispering in my ear, you look fabulous in that dress, buy it. Well, the pastor replied, you know how I deal with that kind of temptation. I say, get behind me, Satan. I did, replied the wife, and then he said, it looks fabulous from back here, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, here's the, here we go to the um, first... Do, do we have Liz a day coming in, by the way? Jamie, how's it going? I don't see her here. Did she, did she show up yet? Should I get off the stage? Uh, do you know? Is somebody else doing the show? Hello? Okay. Uh, I, don't believe she, I don't believe she's here. And I, well, I'm okay. guessing... Uh, well, we're just going to go and... I'm guessing that she's not yeah. going to be here. Well, <clears throat> okay. So we got to finish up because there's two more minutes before the State of the Union, which is a lot like Liz Day solo. Okay, no, I'm joking. We love her. She's not here. Okay. We love her. So yeah. here we go. Let's do. Let's do our uh, our uh, Valentine horoscopes, and then we'll call it in so everybody can switch on to whatever. Anybody who's an Aquarius in here? Okay. Here is your horoscope. Manufactured holidays aren't your cup of decaffeinated herbal tea, but consuming a few vegan prim chocolates doesn't make you a conformist, does it? Good and anyway, the particles from the flowers you planted smell a lot fresher than any you'd ever get in either life. Okay, that wasn't that good, was it? But there you go. Mm. Let's try the next one. I wrote these, so if they suck, it's my fault, all right? Vegan. <laughs> <laughs> if 
you're a Pisces, you live for this stuff. The world would be such a better place if we could all just hold hands and share heart-shaped cookies every day. Perhaps your Valentine would share his excite parts with you. The thought forms you. Oh, it's not that. You accidentally pressed Control-Alt-T. <laughs> Aries. You're determined to receive the best scripted cards, cheap SL candy, and dozens of high prim roses. Who says sending roses to yourself doesn't count? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Taurus. A box of dandelions, dime store chocolates, and dinner at a fast food restaurant. Relax. Was it a bad dream? Or are you in second life? <laughs> <laughs> Gemini, you make two dates for the night in the same sim and then try to convince your best friend to go out with one of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cancer, oh, there's nothing like candy heart and lace dollies to get you going. You are the first to find the Martha Stewart sim and the only one to ever visit it. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, oh, there's nothing like candy. Oh, that's no, Leo. You are displeased by the single red rose some admirer left on your living room floor. So upset are you, you take away the able to see you online and think clearly you're worth at least a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> Virgo, right. you refuse to share the box of chocolates you received, thinking, what if somebody fingers them? What if someone sneezes on your roses that you got? Then you realize you really got a bit nuts since neither of these things can happen in Second Life. <laughs> 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 Uh, Libra, you send in-world Valentine cards to everyone you know, your hairdresser, your sim owner, your manicurist, your manicurist cousin, the Japanese scriptwriter. You don't want anyone to feel <laughs> left Japanese out. Japanese scriptwriter. <laughs> <laughs> Scorpio, why go out for a fancy dinner in first life when you can stay in second life and have dessert waiting at home? Who knew that Cupid's costume you bought could be so sexy? Yeah. You have a chance, come. You won't stop. Okay. Sa Let's Sagittarius. Nice. Not tonight, but I will. What's the uh, set to say? I don't know. I didn't oh. talk to them. I'll talk to them. Okay. Tomorrow. Oh, there's some people Somebody chatting with talking. each other. I think it's Explorer <laughs> talking to himself. <laughs> Just go ahead and talk amongst <laughs> yourself while we're here. On the phone. Somebody's talking. Yeah. <laughs> Explorer's on the phone. <laughs> you can't commit to sending a card. You worry SL may lose it or get it delivered okay. to someone else. Just what if the recipient reads too much it. into it? You switch to your alt and hang out at a sandbox. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Should we be listening to her call? It might be the best thing going tonight, huh? <laughs> She's, yeah, let's do that. She's ordering supper. It sounds yummy. Last, Capricorn. Lacy heart panties and syrupy sentimentality makes you sneeze. Besides, nothing says love like sorting your inventory. Hey, Explore, you back? Oh. What'd you order for dinner? Pizza? No. Oh, no. I'm sorry. We heard you. Yeah, you ate <laughs> the whole thing. You ordered soup. Yeah. your order. <laughs> no, I'll never I'm forget. Ordering, when, whatever you ordered sounded better than what I had for yeah. dinner. I'm ordering when, a baked potato because it's a low baked potato. They, they yes, deliver sir. baked potatoes. <laughs> that, come on, that's. Been... <laughs> no, I have to go pick it up. No, I'm picking it up. I'm oh well, that's up. okay then. <laughs> <laughs> that's just ridiculous. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm hey, Bevin. I'm joking <laughs> you. I'm joking you. Oh, the potato in the yeah, oven. yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember when soup. voice first came in Second Life, and, a salad. And, and somebody was on just like just just like what was going on, except the person was talking to their other <laughs> and trying to tell oh. them that they were really doing something important. They were working on whatever while they were in Second Life, and the other one there you you could hear was saying because they were saying, "No, I'm not in Second Life. I'm working on the and I'm everybody in the audience is listening to this shit, <laughs> listening to this guy <laughs> lying to his girlfriend." <laughs> Awesome. And the funniest part is he was in Second Life with the gal who was listening, too. <laughs> Didn't know I had a girlfriend. <laughs> what a time. Well, we've made another one-hour show. It's time for you to turn on <clears throat> What's My <Hey>. Politician. <laughs> yeah. Well, why don't we all put on CNN and just make fun Truth of or them. consequences. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's really funny. I found out that Mark Rivio is going to give the his rebuttal in uh, <clears throat> Spanish. So, you know, they're trying to get the Latino vote, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be really interesting, you know. I could just see the rest of the Latinos going, hey, I don't understand a word he's saying. That's too, like, uh, <laughs> Americanized <laughs> Spanish, yeah. Yeah, yeah. American. Cuban. Cubano, right? 
right. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Everybody, listen, I want to look around before everybody just splits. I know a lot of you are running. Subliminal, how are you? Uh, thank you so much for coming. I want to thank all the people who came for the first time. Uh, I'm talking about coming here. I wasn't talking about that. Thank you. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Rick, yeah. Lauren, you always remember your first time. Charlize, yeah. yeah, I remember my first time. I'll never forget. And I will tell you the story so you know. All right? It's a long time ago, but you do remember your first time. My first time, and uh, after she said to me, I couldn't believe it. She actually said to me, oh, if I'd known it was your first time, I could have made it better. And I thought, how do you make this better? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't figure out. It was pretty damn good. You can't make it better. And then I turned to her about an hour later. I said, oh, it's like Chinese food. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, what first time? Oh, yes, Tam, Tamara, yes, yes. And Morgan, thank you so much. And Bevan's been out there. And God, with Sally, hey, how are you? And and those of you who came to hear uh, Liz today, I'm sorry she's not here. So I guess she's not coming. And uh, but we're always here every Tuesday, five o'clock. Like it or not, we tell you jokes. We try to make you laugh. We do make ourselves laugh. That's why we're Yeah, here. we do like our own <laughs> jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for those of you that are new in Second Life, don't worry. Eventually, Second Life, the Lindens, will have uh, private sessions with you to explain uh, what you're suffering from. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah. Bravo. Thank you so much. Oh, look. Hey, Walt, how are you back there? Nice to see you. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, Doctor. Uh, wait a minute, Doctor Fran. Are you still here somewhere? Did Doctor Fran leave? I think she. Because I just found a there. guy She's for her. Look who's, who's on the floor. <laughs> who's on the floor over there? I see somebody. Oh, there's. Oh, that. That's. There we go. By the way, for all of you, need to know that a week from Wednesday tomorrow, I am doing a show at a huge BDSM sim that I'm really looking forward to doing it, and I hope you guys will come. Uh, just make sure that you don't again and again. Clothes. And again and again <laughs> yes, and again. again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, that's what Second Life's 